Hey guys, welcome back to NetDevOps journey. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to use Ansible collection. So the Ansible collection consists of roles, modules, plugins and playbook and its related documentation so that it can be easily reused in your automation projects. So it's important to note that when we install the latest versions of Ansible, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have the latest collections. So we need to download and activate the latest collection separately to access the newest modules and playbooks. So this process can be a bit tricky. So in this video, I'll take you through the step-by-step -step approach of downloading the latest Ansible collections from the Ansible Galaxy public repository. Then we will learn how to activate the collection by modifying the specific parameters of the Ansible configuration file. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to import bulk collection using requirement.yml file. So by end of this video, you will have a clear understanding on how to work with Ansible collection and how to keep them up to date to improve your automation workflows. So if you are new to this channel, I will be adding more content on Ansible in coming days. So please consider subscribing and share with your friends and colleagues if you find this video helpful. So with that, let's start our demo. So here I have the Ansible running on Python virtual environment and we are currently using the latest version which is 2.13. To install the Ansible collection, we can use ansible-galaxy command which pull the collections from the Ansible Galaxy online repository. In this demo, we'll focus on installing Cisco ACI network module collections, but the steps are remain same for any other technology or the product. So to begin with, let's look the currently installed version of the collections. For that, we'll use the ansible-galaxy list command and specify the collection name, in this case, cisco.aci. As you can see, we currently have 2.3 release. To install the latest version of the collection, we need to run ansible galaxy install command and specify the fully qualified name of the collection we want to install. Our requirement would be to install cisco.aci. By default, this command tries to install the latest available versions. So let's run the list command here. It indicates that we have 2.4 release now, which is downloaded and installed as opposed to 2.3 release which came along with Ansible. So this is exactly I'm trying to discuss on this video. So once we get the latest release, we need to follow a few steps in order to activate, which you will see in the next. If you want to install a specific version of the collection, we can use install command followed by colon equals equals operator and the version we want to install. So by default, the latest version of the collection is installed on the dot ansible slash collection slash ansible underscore collection folder under the home directory, which is the result of the collection path option on the ansible configurations. To view these details, we can run the command ansible hyphen config space list. It has a lengthy output and if you scroll down a bit, you can find the collection path option here. Now what we'll do here is we'll change the path and make sure that all our collections are stored on a project directory itself. So this is again a best practice and very easy to manage as well. So let's create a directory. We'll call it as collections and you can name it whatever you like. Then we'll also create a subfolder in it and we'll call it as ansible underscore collections. Okay, good. So next we need to modify the ansible configuration file. Remember, we will be creating this file on our project directory. So we'll open it with Vim Editor. First, we'll add the default keyword to specify the default value for the configuration option. Next, we'll need to set the collection path option and point to the newly created folder that is collections slash Ansible collections. Now we'll go ahead and install the latest version of our Ansible SA collections using the Galaxy command. And you'll notice that the latest version is downloaded but important point to note here is that it is now stored on our project directory under the new collection folder. So that's really awesome. Now you can see here we have a default collection which is located on Python directory under home. So when we see two collections installed, chances are high that we might get confused and won't be sure which collection is currently active. So let's find out how to disable the default package. So for that, let's check the Ansible configuration again. If you see, there is something called collections underscore scan underscore syspath. That's a key. And what it does is it automatically scans for the Ansible collections. So let's capture the key value from this output. 
then we'll go to the ansible cfg file and update this so what we need to do here is that we need to add the new key and put the value as boolean false so now it should be disabling this feature from the ansible so let's go ahead and verify these things so it appears that we have only one version now which is 2.4.0 which is the latest version we just installed so in summary we have learned how to create a new folder and get the new collection installed on it and disable the built-in collection so that we can start using the new collection for our automation workflow i hope you get the logic all right so let's look another example here so we'll go to galaxy.ansible.com and search for kubernetes under the cloud section we can find that kubernetes core collections and the command to install the latest version before installing let's check if you already have the kubernetes core collection available in our project directory so we don't see any packages yet okay now let's go ahead and install the kubernetes cluster collections we can see that it is getting installed in new path we have defined in the ansible.cfg file finally let's run the list command now we can see two collections listed and the version details for both it appears we can see only the install package now and looks very clean and easy to manage all right so whatever we have learned so far it's for individual collection updates so let's explore how we can do a bulk updates for that we'll use the requirements.yml file to manage ansible collection and their dependencies it is used to specify which collection and their version should be installed for a given ansible project all right so let's look some examples here on the ansible galaxy page let's try to pick some collections so we'll go with aws collection inside the cloud and find out its latest release similarly we can also find irisa eos collection details as well now we'll go back to our terminal and create requirements.yaml file in our project directory make sure it is written exactly like this as you are aware yaml start with three hyphens then mention the collections keyword at the beginning indicates that the list of collection is being defined each collection is defined as a dictionary with a key value pair name and the version next run the ansible galaxy command to install the collections and define the requirements with hyphen r flag so it is trying to download the aws collection first then there is the eos collection so we have both uh, packages downloaded let's verify with the list command so here you can see the aws first and the eos ansible latest collections are downloaded and ready to go on that note i hope you get the entire perspective about ansible collections and if you enjoy this video please press the like button and share your thoughts in the comment sections again thank you for watching i'll see you soon on the next video